<laughs> right, hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51. Uh, first round match between uh, Alma and his Dark Elves, and Arzawain and his Dwarves. Uh, in the booth with me is Faimir, hello! Hello everybody, and hello to our viewers in Burkina Faso, West Africa, oh. which capital is Ouagadougou. <laughs> Jesus, that's a that's that that's a word. And the national flower is the red rose, which is a very common national flower from the countries. And the national leaf is the red grass. I do but wonder yes. if sorry, sorry, sorry if I may have sorry, but I do wonder if the red rose is the uh, is the default answer. In, in yes. These things. yes, that's the name of the capital of the <laughs> the Wagadugu. Wagadugu. Ah, go do that. do do. <laughs> I try my best. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's not scary. No, too. it's a uh, Flintstone, Jabba Dabba Doo. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, so, right, Arzawain has a dwarf team, he's down TV, he's got a bribe and a wizard, and he's got some mighty blow and some guard. And a smattering of stand firm, a completely exciting, a completely exciting dwarf team that you know move up, add up, runners quite good. And then uh, Alma has a pretty exciting delve team actually, two two blood step guarders, and a mighty blow, jump up, imaginary piling on guy, <laughs> and a move up, and another guard, and a witch, thirteen players total, really nice. But up against Dorfs. And as we all know, Dorfs gonna Dorf. Again we've got a we've got a guard troll slayer, pom tackle guard. Interesting. Super interesting. Blotch, guard, stand firm, uh, also Blitzer. Which is not getting smacked. I think it was too far away to hit with Mighty Blow, wasn't it? And as we all know, you have to block with Mighty Blow. Is this uh, exposable here? Guess not, but just just can just bang a little bit. Get the pow. It's the thing that with this guard, like it's pretty easy for the, the delves just to just to start banging back, like you know the, the, the dwarves have got to engage and then the uh, that gives the delves the chance to bang back. It's pretty rowdy putting both uh, both elves in the backfield here. Witch elves, very spicy witch elves. Risky play, but uh, he needs to do something because how he's going to, you know, uh, get the ball. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that. I tell you. I, would, I really much preferred uh, blitzing the witch with the uh, troll slayer here, but never mind. Who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> oh, here comes the blitz. Okay, that troll slayer would have got an extra hit instead of having to use the reroll. Because you really do want this witch elf down. That's why. That's why I would have gone for the uh, troll slayer blitz. But never mind. Also, I, to be fair, to be fair, not only would I have not played that, I, I wouldn't have made that play. I also wouldn't have uh, cheated people out of thousands of dollars uh, using, you know, my position as admin in my favour as well. So, you know, there is that. To be fair, there's a few things I would do differently to uh, to uh, Arzawain. 
Okay, he came in turn three, so <laughs> check your bingo cards, guys, <laughs> to see when. Uh, <laughs> 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 when Jimmy was going to mention it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's fair to to keep mentioning it forever. <laughs> to yes, be honest. I agree with that. Also, we never forget anything in this uh, chat, in this channel, mm. except the games Five seconds after they are over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That happened ages ago um, on PS4. But basically, there was a, a group of people who were. Uh, oh, Diamed is surely. Diamed is surely trolling here. But, um. <laughs> but for the boomer who who isn't. Um, yeah, it happened ages ago on PS4, and there was a group of mostly Spanish coaches who um, had a private discord and agreed not to spin into each other and it may have started innocently but it definitely didn't you know it definitely didn't end innocently and uh, they even got joined by an English person specifically joining to avoid them and stuff uh, who was happened to be an admin and it was just definitely you know they practiced mass avoidance and the ps4 obviously very small player base so they you know if you're one of the good players and you never have to play the other good players then that's a pretty good pact for making sure they all qualify every season and then have a good shot at winning money because they're on ps4 so there you go yes and also uh, that allows you you know to be to a snipe teams that you know uh, you want to get rid of you know you have a group of people uh, you know chaining games mm. makes a sniping uh, much easier mm. and calcium was the one that did a deep report on uh, all this yeah. and uh, he was the one that got banned yes oh this is brutal this isn't it both guards come in and uh, instant 2d on the ball Or not? Yes, calcium. Calcium got, got banned. banned. Yeah, calcium got got banned on all platforms indefinitely, and then they got a slap on the wrist of one season ban from PS4. So they just all came to PC. You could say it was a fucking disgrace. <laughs> You know, if you thought that about things. Oh, wrestle works. Ball is loose. Yep. No. And here comes the witcher for the pickup. Yep. Oh, gets the dodge. Got a GFI here as well. Yep. And there we go. That is lovely. A lovely ball sack and steal from Alma. Yeah, it was really fucked up. The whole thing was fucked up. And then so shortly after that, prize money was removed from both, uh, you know, Xbox, PS4 and PC. Like, you know, pretty soon after that, that's when the prize money stopped. So I, think, I guess even Cyanide, as incompetent as they are, realised, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, this is pretty bad. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> that's a good point, Necropotence, yeah. That's, that's actually a good point. <laughs> oh, here comes the foul. That does nothing. Interesting. I thought he might have wizarded to, like, you know, get back in the game, but obviously he just doesn't care, just happy to lose. <laughs> Just happy to fucking lose. Not even using the wizard. Like, this is one of the situations where, okay, the wizard isn't great, but you just have to do it, right? You have to fireball there, hope for a god fireball, and get back in the game, because otherwise you just, you've just lost. You've literally just lost this turn. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> and this looks like a... Oh. Don't deal. Oh. oh wow, wow, there's a snake there. 
I mean, doesn't change uh, much. Still the uh, high elves in a very good position. The dark elves. Yeah, the high elves are in a fantastic position. <laughs> not, not playing Blood Bowl. They're not playing Blood Bowl right now. <laughs> That's Ooh. another one. Self-removal! Oh! <laughs> and that's a very angry apple there. <laughs> because... I mean, maybe he won't see him guaranteed for the second half. Yeah, and he, he's not likely to take Kaz against Dark Elves, is he? So I, I think that's a pretty standard apple, to be fair. I know, I know he's got a mighty blow tackler, but, you know, you, you are unlikely to take Kaz still. He's more worried about like dodging and stuff rather than maximizing blocks every turn, isn't he? Though he is maximizing blocks every turn because, you know, if you can, you should. So good play from Alma. Doing the right things. Oh, that was the wrong thing there, though. <laughs> that was a mistake. That was a big mistake there. Yeah, I think I think you make this block plus block first, or you just get him up and stand him there. You know, like to to risk a two plus first. I just don't like it. I think either stand, get him up and stand there, and then make this two D, or make the two D first and risk not getting him back at all. But yeah, Arzwin's just happily given up this drive, hasn't he? Yes, he yeah, had the... Oh, there you go, the Abyskals. He gets the power. But you know, it's not that bad to give up, to be to be fair. As much as I said, like, you've got the wizard and get back in. But you don't, because you can lose this half 1-0. And then save your wizard and play really hard on defense in the second half. Make it 1-1. Get to overtime and then win the toss. So, like, you know, there is still a route to win after getting turned over. You don't have to instantly fireball. Um, to try and get back into it. I think that I think instantly fireballing to get back into it is the best strategy and is the highest equity line if you like but you know I can understand the mentality of not doing it because it was a pretty shit fireball and uh, in this way you know you know he definitely can stop the dark hill scoring the problem is that the, the Dels can score any turn right now, now they can score on any turn and they're 2-0 up and they've won so it, it is really hard to like to find. That's the bad thing. That's the really bad thing. Is that is that like you know, try, try, like stopping delves who have to score on turn eight, or turning over delves who have to score on turn eight, is a lot easier than stopping them or turning them over if they if they if they can score any any turn they they can you know. That is the thing. So that's why I would have desperation wizarded. And I think the desperation wizard was correct. Well, uh, Jim, your play will probably would have been conceded and not play blue ball for another three months. <laughs> after losing the ball. Yeah. Will we see a rowdy foul here? Yeah, yes, well. come on. Yeah, they, exactly, Lord. Right? Like, I think you've got a, I think you've got a fireball just because again you can make removals. A very good point made by uh, Rick one day. You know, like, there's a, yes, there's power. You know, having the whiz in your pocket, but there's also power just like in terms of pure TV. If you use it and you make a removal, then you know that's that's less TV on the pitch for that drive, isn't it? So that is one of the bonuses to like using the wizard as early as possible. Oh, all Huge the dark elves come back. Huge yeah, KO huge. rolls. Happy days for the Dark Elves. Of course, they only needed one to come back, but still, it's still more quality on the pitch, isn't it? And they, yes, they still got the first 11. Uh, Dwarves with 11. Arzawain with a wizard still. Um, and oh, but only the apple for Alma. Arzor has used his apple. Yeah, this is looking pretty, pretty good for Alma now. Now that he can. Now that he can stall it and score it whenever he wants, like that, that's the key. The key thing. It's so much easier just being able to bang it in whenever you can. We have 
Si Alma is not going to do a Daka. No. No, I don't think I would. Like the, the thing with the Daka is it's really good for getting that turn 8 stall and it's really good for preventing attrition. Whereas you don't really care about either in this situation. You just have to get it done at some point when you can. So the further up the field you are, like then you can, you know, any time you get a breakthrough, you just get it, don't you, with this? Also, it's a bit the DAC is a bit weaker to the wizard as well. So even I wouldn't DAC her here. <laughs> also, he's got a bunch of guard, hasn't he? So he can just he can fight decently effectively. Which elf is exposed though here with that frenzy hit? Gonna mighty blow the defenseless runner, lovely. Bah. Nothing. Bah. <laughs> but this is I mean this is very dangerous for ours away now, like this is the thing, you know. If just anything happens you can uh you can bez through. A nice bit of bezing. Uh, DP runner is the second runner. is pretty standard game of vision. Brings a bit of utility in games where you don't need him to like be the backup carrier. Yeah, um, I'm fine with uh, having a runner uh, with DP. Yeah. Here we go. We're going for the basing up strat. Base all main. Mm. It's a little bit dodgy. The question is, the Dark Elves also have a lot of guards, so you know it's not as... Uh... Yeah, that's the thing, it's a little bit dodgy because the dwar the, the Dells have so much guard themselves that they can they can fight back pretty effectively. Like, this is only a few dodges to make. And, and you know, and they get some hits back as well. Huge block here, gets the POW. And now he can turn the corner. And hit the... Ooh, Defenseless. Like uh... Yeah, I don't like that. I th I think it was worth uh, just going, you know, for the hit straight up and then making the two plus through. Afterwards, he's got four re rolls. I think it was worth making the uh, dodge through afterwards. Oh, but he's getting this hit as well, man. Really maxing blocks. And why not? That's the thing, right? That's the killer. Like, you can max blocks as else, can't you? There's no reason not to, just because you can dodge as well. Really good having a bunch of guard. And he's only got three guard. Imagine if you had an elf team with seven guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be uh, very interesting. And also the fact that now, you know, half of the dwarf team is uh, lost yeah. on the other side of the pitch. Yeah, brutal, isn't it? So, so that makes, you know, uh, chances of uh, getting a lot of space. Yeah. I would have definitely had that guy two up, though. Uh, yes. To leave, you know, at least. All right, okay. Yeah. It's a pretty foul. nice foul, yeah, great foul. Great foul, kill him. But yeah, I would definitely had him up here because then, then you're tagging you're tagging this guy. This guy could GFI and, you know, do that and you're getting in the way of these guys a bit as well. I really liked him up two squares. Oh, he's only moved three. But still, he could double GFI and get in. Like, I don't know, I think I would have much more there. Banana cage, yep. Yeah. Oh, another GFI oh, uses the roll. Doesn't want to take any risk there. No. Gets the KO. Yep. Yeah, it was a great foul. It was a great foul there because yeah, he just needs the stun and then and then the 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 flank's completely exposed. Yeah, yeah. Really great foul. Really great decision. Not just dice. <laughs> Not just great dice. It was a great decision foul there for sure. And now he's got nothing to hold the the flank with, does he? And it's easy progression, just the wizard. Maybe he should have fireballed there, Alma. Uh, not Alma, obviously Alma shouldn't have fireballed. Maybe Zazo should have uh, fireballed there. But obviously he's going to whiz this turn. And Alma knows he's going to whiz this turn, so he just has to uh, think about that. Honestly, what he could do here 
is move everybody first and then punt it to there. Might have been a, a, an idea, right? Just for then, and then like, who do you fucking wizard? <laughs> <laughs> Might have been an idea. I don't know if it's correct or e or, or insane or, or what, but it was an idea that I just had. <laughs> in fact, it would be a very good idea because uh, you know all your team is safe from the wizard, mm -hmm. and still you can you know make a more like a cage around the ball on the ground and you have a lot of players to go back we just had two plus yeah it's got a lot of players back and here comes the fireball fireball hits four Kaz is the witch only a badly hurt gets the ball as well as brutal three out of four but it's still not that good is it you know so he definitely was a good defense against the wizard to be fair But the, the runner, see, this is the thing, the runner can get it now, right? This edge four runner can get it. So I don't think it was insane to punt, because if you punt and the ball's down here, this runner just can't get it, whereas now he can get it and get back into a cage. Ooh, sure hands. Dodge, mm -hmm. GFI. Yeah. So there you go, holy moly. And the one D pal. Flip me guys, what a what a fireball and recovery. What a turn for uh, Arso Wayne and now Alma. Yeah, do you know what I, uh, now, now, now it really looks like my my <laughs> my punt was a good player now, doesn't it, after that? <laughs> I thought I thought it was actually a really good idea. I think it's a very Great defense, you know, versus uh, with us when you have a team that can just pick up the ball with a two plus or dodge with a two plus. Mm. You know, you pan the ball and then you can pick up it and score, and it's like, what the hell has happened? Yeah, I did, I did like it. That was amazing. That was amazing to think that and not know the result. <laughs> and then it's like a brutal fireball and recovery, and it's it's absolutely horrendous for a moment now, isn't it? Very sad. <laughs> Not uh, totally unbiased, of course. But, you know, I'd never lie and say that Arzawain's bad at Blood Bowl or anything, do you know what I mean? But, uh, I st like, this is the thing, I am honest. Um, I think it was pretty terrible what what the uh, UC people did. Um, but, you know, I'll still call it like I see it, and if I think his players are good, I'll say that his players are good. <laughs> There's still a lot of blood ball uh, in this game because the dwarves have to score, and there is uh, still a lot of uh, dark elves on the pitch. Yeah, that's a good point. They do have to score. It is one nil to Alma, so Alma just has to regroup now, right? It's be hard mentally in, the, in like the live actual game, right? But he's just all he has to do is just get everyone back in front, and he's got a good chance of keeping this out and making it a making it a one nil win in normal time, probably. Probably not so good to maximize blocks the way he Oh, okay, maybe this is something interesting. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, very nice. Lots of chains, but I mean... It's not achieving a whole lot. One no, but he still has the blitz. Yeah, but I mean, like, he's activated, so it's not. You know, he's just getting people in the way, isn't he? Oh, and then he won in 36s. No, one in 6s, there was a tackle there as well. Hmm. Well, definitely right to use his reroll there. Like, okay, he's got the equity, but you you know it's much better to just win one nil, isn't it, than have to go to overtime. Yes. Oh wow. Oh, oh. 
This is not how you start your turn. Rolling ones. No. Oh, double Ooh, ones. Okay, Terrible this decision. Is it. This is it for Alma now. Brilliant <laughs> chance here. <laughs> yeah, huge chance now. Wow, what a terrible decision to roll double ones first. <laughs> I don't know what the plan was with that GFI. It literally could have been cyanide pathing or like, you know, not realizing that it was a GFI or whatever, but I don't know what his plan was there. Um, but, you know, it could have been the correct thing to do, couldn't it? Just. What can you do? Push is enough to get guard on the another guard on the ball. Yep, two guards on the ball, beautiful. Puts in the reroll, gets the pow. I mean at this time you have to put the reroll there. This is yeah, I think so. I think so. Ooh. I mean very tempted to uh, dodge with the witch elf first, because she's actually got dodge, but no, Alma's just loving maxing box here. Very a very blocky elf coach. I would have not stood firm there to try and get the uh, to suck the uh, witch elf onto me. <laughs> yes, I don't know why he, that doesn't achieve much that they stand firm there. Maybe just didn't want his runner to get boxed in a little bit. I don't know. He's got a score on the runner, hasn't he? Here somehow. Ooh, Oof. 1D. Gets the ball. Goes for the scatter. Oh! The elf gets it. Outrageous. Brilliant play by Alma. Everything calculated, you know. Outrageous. What a disgusting look at dog. <laughs> Yeah, it has to, has to tag the... Uh... Actually, I think this is much better, right? Because now the witch else got a 2 plus out. Oh god, what was this? Mm, okay. Oh my... Oof! I don't like a 3 plus dodge through tackle there, but I guess that's what, you know, if you think that's what you need to do, then that's what you need to do, isn't it? And 15 for the Dwarves, very difficult for them to score one way or the other. I mean, I didn't see what the players, but then, you know, I don't know what my play would be either. Like, you know, there's not an obvious play there, is there? So, like, I guess, you know, that was the solution he saw. It was the 3 plus and the 2D and then dodge out back. Oof. Well, he tear apart your insights. <laughs> Uses the apple to try and save the uh, miss next. Does not work. It comes big roll here. I think I like the pow, and then, so it might have gone to him, <laughs> funnily enough, it would have gone to him. There we go. And here comes the sure hands. Yeah. Works. Two plus handoff. A GFI first. Handoff fails. Oh. No rerolls. Okay, oh. okay. We get another try. We get another try. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh my god! Instant one there for Alma. Jeebus. What is this? the amateur league or something like that? He only needs. One there gets you the go. Pow. Gets the pow. Which he needs out of range. Wow. I and decides to lie on the floor wow. to finish his uh, turn there. <laughs> wow, what a play, guys. So that's it, the dwarves can score right now. Yeah. Yeah, what a, what a match. What a match. And in case you're wondering why Alma was dodging away and you know, doing all that with the... with the player was to avoid any kind of chain or anything. Yes, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, there you go. Great result. Congratulations, Alma. And uh, there you go. Thank you very much. Fimey, it's been great having you on. A great pleasure uh, to be here. And I hope our viewers from Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso, sorry, and the, the people, especially in the capital of Ouagadougou, <laughs> enjoy the game. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.